everybody, this is Rob with episode number three of uh, Video Game Pickups. Uh, this is pretty much my garage sale uh, pickups from uh, this weekend. I didn't really do any thrifting, so uh, yeah, I think this is all garage sale stuff. Uh, I was on a limited budget this week. Um, unfortunately, I uh, get paid every two weeks, so uh, this weekend kind of sucked, but uh, money-wise. But I uh, got a couple things I'll show you here. Uh, Saturday, first one. Uh, didn't have too many games. They said they were going to have a lot more, but uh, of course when I got there, they, were, they weren't. I guess somebody beat me to them, but uh, these are the two I picked up. Galerians Ash for PS2. It's missing the manual, unfortunately. And Orphan Scion of Sorcery. So this one's complete. Uh, three bucks a game. All right, I guess. Uh, there was another sale on Saturday. Um, this one was kind of ridiculous, but uh, had a ton of different games and uh, gaming stuff. It was all over the place. Wii stuff, uh, Xbox stuff, uh, PlayStation 2, uh, even Wii U controllers in the box. They wanted too much for that, but um, I'll show you what I got out of there. And uh, kind of a stupid story, but uh, here's the stuff first. Uh, South Park for the N64. Uh, Naruto Clash Ninja for the GameCube. Kingdom Hearts uh, for the PS2 in like flawless condition. I don't even think it was played, it looks like. It was open, unfortunately, but. Uh, Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories for the PlayStation 2. Again, this one's like flawless too. And uh, looks like it wasn't even played uh, open, unfortunately, again. But. Uh, Siberia for Xbox, never heard of it. Uh, looked kind of interesting. And for the price I got it for, I picked it up. And a Capcom Steel Battalion figure in the box. Now, that stuff, uh, originally I got to the sale and I picked it all up and I was like, how much are the games? The guy said two bucks. I'm like, okay. So I picked out my stuff and another guy came out of the house and I'm like, okay, uh, the guy that I talked to told me two dollars. And he's like, oh, he doesn't know what he's talking about. So he's like, uh, yeah, I want, uh, 30 bucks for all this. I'm like, 30 bucks? Hell no. I'll put all that stuff back. He's like, oh, Kingdom Hearts are like brand new, bro. I'm like, yeah, no thanks. So, uh, I originally picked up the Steel Battalion thing for two bucks. He still gave me that for two bucks. And, uh, I was walking away and the other guy went back in the house. So the guy I originally talked to, he's like, oh, you, you, really, you want these games for two bucks? I'm like, yeah, that's what we talked about first. So I'll take them. So I went back and picked them up. I don't know if that other guy got pissed off about it or what, but whatever. I, I don't like when people price me one thing and then another guy shows up and prices me something else. So that was kind of a dick move, but uh, I got the stuff for two bucks each, so not bad. Now, uh, the last sale I went to on Saturday was actually... Um, I was driving around in my neighborhood, or close to my neighborhood, and... Uh, I saw a sale at a school, in a school parking lot, and it was actually a, a Boy Scout. I guess they were raising money for something. So, um, I kind of went up there. I saw a couple, you know, kids' toys and whatever, so I was looking for video games, and I found a stack of them. Not the greatest titles, but, uh, you know, whatever. I talked to the guy. Actually, oh, there was like five Boy Scouts. I asked me, can you help you? Can we help you? I was like, no, I don't need any help, but, uh, then I did, I didn't see any prices on any of them, so, uh, they talked to, I guess, their Cub Scout master dude, and he's like, uh, you want those games? I'm like, uh, okay. He's like, uh, three bucks for all of them. I'm like, um, okay, there's a bunch of sports titles in them, but, uh, for three bucks, I'll take the whole stack, so, here, let me go through them quickly. Uh, Call of Duty, World of War for the 360. Uh, Crackdown, which I don't remember if I've ever actually played. Um, it was, I heard it was a pretty cool game at the time, so I might check that one out. Madden 2003 for the PlayStation 2. Madden 2004 for the PlayStation 2. World Poker Tour for the PlayStation 2. Uh, MVP Baseball 2004 for the PS2. Uh... 
What is that? Toka Race Driver 3 for the PlayStation 2? Um, Connect Adventures for the 360. SOCOM 2 for the PS2. Uh, Blitz 2003 for the PS2. Uh, the second time I found this in the last week or so. The Bible game for the PS2. Uh, Grand Theft Auto Vice City. I think it's missing the manual, but... Game's there. Uh, MX vs. ATV Unleashed for the PS2. And Grand Theft Auto for the PS2, although it has Madden 2002 in it, so... Whatever. Oh, and there's a couple more games, sorry. Uh, Frogger for the PS1. Uh, NBA Live 97, which I think is just the case. Madden 2002. And actually the original game I was looking at at the whole stack. Uh, Cookie and Cream. Uh, I don't know if I've ever heard of this game before, but I uh, figured I'd give it a shot. Maybe my daughter might be into it or whatever. And then I was looking around the sale and they had some other stuff. And... Um, I picked that stuff up too, and I kind of bundled it off together. And uh, well, let me show you the stuff. A sealed Mega Bloks uh, NASCAR uh, thing. Uh, a Bakugan uh, toy. I don't really know that much about Bakugan, but I seem to find them everywhere sealed and pretty cheap, so that's another one. And here's a third one. And, somehow, I found the second one of these in about a week. A PS2 uh, Force 2 uh, sealed controller. Uh, looks a little different than the other one I picked up, but uh, still a cool find for sealed. So uh, I brought that all the way up to the mock register that they had set up. And uh, I was like, how much do you want for all that? So he's like, 10 bucks. So I was like, okay. So we went with that for 10 bucks. Now on Sunday, I didn't have a lot of time to uh, garage sale. I had to be home by about 10.30 to uh, do some stuff with my daughter and whatever. So uh, I ran to two sales that had video games advertised. And you know those are hit or miss. They can be either uh, gold mines or they can be the people that try to sell stuff for you know, 30 bucks for a, a crappy Wii game. Oh, let me actually go back to Saturday. I went to a state sale. Talking about crappy Wii games. Um, it had video games uh, listed, Wii games. And uh, I went in there, um, saw Mario Kart Wii for $31. I think Wii Play was like 7 just a game. Um, there were a couple other whacked games. I think there was another one for 20 and it was like one of those shovelware titles. Uh, I just walked out of there laughing, and that was it. But uh, let me go back to Sunday's uh, pull. So I pull up to one of the, the houses, the first house, and uh, see a guy fiddling around with a stack of DVDs, and it looks like some games, too. Now, I thought that was the guy setting up the thing, because I got there 10 minutes before the sale. And uh, I even helped the guy pick up some stuff that he dropped. And it actually happened to be a guy buying stuff because he turned around, took the stack to the lady, and uh, bought it and walked off. So I was like, oh, man. So I don't even know what he actually got, but uh, picked up a couple things real quick from there. Um, let me show you. A PS2 to a PS3 adapter. It's sealed. Um, and uh, a couple loose games. Uh, Bushido Blade 2. Uh, Unjammer Lammy and uh, Tekken 2. So those three games and the uh, adapter for four bucks. Now I went to another sale, like I said, that listed video games and uh, they wanted uh, five dollars for PS2 games. And they were, uh, you know, the best stuff was like Grand Theft Auto. I have like 50 copies of that, so I don't need any more of those. So uh, that was about it for this weekend. Now I got a couple things coming up. Uh, this Thursday I'm going to be picking up uh, an Atari and Intellivision lot, probably. And uh, I have um, a Genesis lot I'm supposed to pick up sometime. I don't know what's going on. It's been like a two-week ordeal with this lady. And uh, every time I forget about it, she sends me a message. Oh, are you still interested? And I'm like, yeah. And then, uh, you know, uh, she disappears for a couple days. So I don't know what's going on with that. 
and then hopefully uh, I get an N64 and SNES thing coming up next weekend. We'll see how that works out. That's from a buddy of mine, uh, Eric. Uh, we'll see. But um, that's it for this week. Uh, hopefully I can post some more videos this week. I don't know how much I'm going to be running around because, again, like I said, I don't get paid till Friday. But uh, if not, uh, I'll post a, something uh, this weekend again, all right? Have a good one, guys. Rob out.